Welcome again to Shine the Finance. Today's topic is to learn more about paints. Two things that you need to know whether your paint is opaque or whether your paint is transparent and how to use that to your advantage. How to use the knowledge whether your paint is transparent or opaque to your advantage. As I am talking about paint, I will be demonstrating everything with oil paints. However, it works exactly the same with acrylic paints as well. So, yes, the name of the paints or the colors will be different with different brands of paints, whether it is oil paint or acrylic paint. But still, every paint is either opaque or transparent or something in between, like semi-transparent. And it is very important to know what that means. So here we go. Um, let's we are discussing whether a paint is opaque or transparent. What do you mean by that? Now let's say your titanium white paint. The paint I'm right now going to demonstrate is titanium white. It is known to be extremely opaque. So what do I mean by that? Now if you see, I have a black strip, kind of black brown strip painted over here. Now if I paint titanium white over that black strip and I have kind of thinned it down with linseed oil you still can see that it completely covers the black underneath so what do I mean by opacity that it gives you complete coverage so whatever is underneath black white blue whatever color underneath it's going to be completely covered now let's talk about transparency of paints Obviously, as the word says itself, transparent paint would be just the opposite of opaque paint. You will be able to see what is beneath. Let's see. I am using a red. It's an alizarin crimson. Now, if you can see, even though I painted red, you can still see the black line underneath. That's because this paint is transparent and not opaque. So that's the major two things that you need to know about your paint, whether your paint is opaque or it is transparent. Now how to use this to your advantage or uh, how to manipulate when to use opaque paint and when to use transparent paint. When to use opaque paint. Now say you have made a mistake. You have painted something in blue or red or even black or any color for that matter and you want to cover that paint uh, area up with an oil you want to cover that area up and paint over it it is then when you use opaque paint like we just demonstrated you go over the already painted area with an opaque paint obviously the quantity required will matter depending on the um, darkness of the paint underneath and we paint over it and once it is dry then you can paint your desired color on top of this opaque paint so that's how we use opaque paint to for coverage total coverage or corrective mistakes like if you are starting off with a painting you might want to cover the whole area with paint and at that point coverage is your target and you would use this opaque paint however see I want glaze then I will go for this transparent paint and what do I mean by glazing now I am trying to demonstrate here the perspective of glazing however I do understand that because of the lighting here you probably would not be able to see a lot of differences here I have just straight halo blue color now if I mix blue and red everybody knows that makes purple so that's what I have done mixed blue and red in a separate palette and made purple so this is straight purple from a tube of paint or mixed purple whatever and then I have painted purple instead in this case what I have done is when my blue dried I painted a thin transparent layer of red over it so this is also yielding a purple the difference here I understand that it's probably not visible to you 
through the camera but it's very visible to me is that it this one has more vibrancy than this one shade of color that's because each layer of color first the blue and then the red is reflecting light separately but once again if I had now if I had added more red to this purple then it gives to this one shade of color instead what I did here it has two two layers of red and once again it gives a different shade so what what you I'm trying to demonstrate is that the different layers of color that I'm putting instead of straight up mixing the color separately and putting it together the layering is improving the vibrancy because of the refraction through each layer how will you know how, when to use what now that is a tricky thing first let's know how to find out whether a paint is transparent or opaque most paint tubes like this one or this one will have a little square if you can see where my finger is pointing which if it is a solid square means that it is pretty uh, transparent or opaque and uh, if it is not solid then it is transparent like in this one i don't know if you can see very clearly i suppose not the uh, that uh, square over here is half black and half white which means that it is opaque partly so that that's how you can figure out whether a paint is opaque or transparent like in this one also here it says opaque and it is half black and half black um half white and this uh this measurement or how they demarc in every brand of paint is a little bit different from each other however you can always find out through the reviews or shade cards which paint is opaque and which is transparent now let's say we are starting off with a, a painting what we want to do here is we want to get our entire area covered with some paint so what we are will do is take some paint and here we're not looking for perfection of paint or total coverage or anything we want just a whole area covered so with a layer of paint so this is what is called a wash and we have already demonstrated what a glaze is so these are the few things that you uh, might want to use um, glazing technique wash technique and know about opacity and transparency of the paint that was our goal today hope you find this information extremely useful for your upcoming paintings don't forget to like and subscribe that is the best way to um, keep up with what's coming up and what's going on in my world of painting also in the link below in the video description as usual i'll put all the links to my social media presents and website hope to see you soon